I'm so just astounded by what one little Instagram post, you know, to just have said like, hey, does anybody want to help me with this? And to see it turn into this, if you ever needed an example, this is it, of how social media can be used for good and to build community. Oh my God, all of you stop crying. <laughs> Everybody wants to see you. So I love to go to estate sales and occasionally you'll walk into a craft room or to a sewing room and there'll be an unfinished project. And I, like, I can't leave it. <laughs> and so I buy them up and then I, finish it the way that I think that they would want it finished. Well, I got to Rita's house and I noticed that the house was for sale, which is usually an indicator that the person's passed. And so I sort of tunnel visioned over to the wall and it was this beautiful hand embroidered map of the US that was in perfect shape, was professionally framed and was just stunning. The gal who ran the estate sale said, uh, oh, if you're into that, there's a box of fabric in the bedroom and some supplies. And when I opened it, I realized, oh, <laughs> This is a massive quilting project that is not done. So I pack it all up and I go to the cashier and I'm like, how much? They were like, well, do you want the Tupperware container? <laughs> I was like, yeah. They were like, then it's $6. <laughs> so this is the $6 Tupperware container I bought. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll ask Instagram. I'll tell them, I'll show them some pictures and then definitely I can get a couple stitchers who will help me do this. And then within Within 24 hours, I, I had over a thousand volunteers to help me. <laughs> and people were like, not just like, oh, I'll do it. Like enthusiastically like jockeying for states and like, I must be a part of this. You have to send me one. Basically it was like, when you're ready, we will host a party to put this thing together. And so we are hand piecing this quilt top. Would you look at this? This is astounding. Like I. I'm never speechless, words are really my thing, but I... When I initially saw Shannon's Instagram post, I thought it would just be like this tiny little thing, and then it just ballooned into this awesome project that's gone around the world. I am the person that's going to be doing the actual quilting of the quilt. The quilting industry is one of the largest hobby industries in the United States. One of the blocks ended up needing a little mending because it got damaged, and I was able to actually use scraps of fabric from an embroidery project of my great aunt who I never met because she died before I was born. Rita's been really important and centered in this project. Found her maiden name, found her husband's obituary, found out that her mom immigrated from Canada, that she was born in Michigan, that she was a school nurse her whole life. Her husband was a teacher, they had a son. He's still alive, he's around here. And it just got better and better. And then we found her high school yearbook photo and it was all over. We were like, we have a picture of Frida. You know, I just went on Instagram to like ask a couple people that maybe they might help me stitch something. Um, and, and now like this. Thank you. <laughs> hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.